All right, so this video was actually supposed to be out a long time ago, but we ran into some difficulties, like always. Instead of making excuses and telling you guys what happened, let's just get right into the video. Yeah. From the bar train to a tour bus, still the same game except I'm pulling more sluts, more butts, more butts. What's up you guys? Thank you for tuning in to today's video, like always. You guys probably know what's going on today. Today I'm gonna be installing the bumper kit. I mean the body kit, what the heck? <laughs> but um, here it is right here. All cramped up inside the car. I literally got nowhere to sit. My knees are all cramped up and stuff. And it's just ridiculous, but I don't care. I think it's all worth it. Usually when it comes to this kind of stuff, Zane helps me do it, but um, Zane's busy right now. I'm gonna be going to a house of a friend of mine's named Nick. Nick is really good with IS 300s, like he really knows his stuff, so this should go smoothly, hopefully. But you guys know my luck, so <laughs> let's get this video started. I put the address in the GPS. Nick's house is 14 miles away, so this is gonna be a pretty long drive. All right, so I made it to Nick's house. He's right over here. Um, this is his friend, Steven. Steve. 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 And we're about to get this started. Um, but it's popped up. Here's all the parts. Put stupid skateboards on the floor. And we actually popped up the trunk because we thought, well, I thought that I was gonna need it to take the side skirts out, but it turns out we didn't. So it's gonna be a bitch to close the trunk again, but oh well. All right, so here we go. All right, so the bumper's off. There's an old, ugly thing over here. I gotta get me some fog lights, too. All right, first thing we did was we took the grill off of the old bumper, put it on the new bumper, but I'm gonna be getting the, um, what's it called, JDM, I'll test the grill soon, so this is gonna be coming off. I wanna scratch it. I'm just... I'm gonna All, right. All right, so now we're about to put on put on the new bumper. Oh yeah. Damn, this thing's gonna be sitting way lower. Oh god. Holy shoot. Look at it. I might even not make it out my charge. Yeah, I need to get a quick release bumper kit thing. Oh well. Alright, let me put the camera down. Shit. <laughs> like I told you guys before I got here, I got some really bad luck. So it turns out the little crash bar is not going to fit on this. So, you know, I got to make a choice. You know, either take this off or drive back home. You know, when you're like trying to make your car look nice, you know, who like gives a fuck about safety, you know? Fuck safety. Yeah, so right now we're just gonna be taking the crash bar off. All right, while the crash bar is being taken off, right now we're just gonna be taking off the rear bumper. But y'all, check this out right here, man. This thing is sexy as hell. What you said, it's um, pushing almost 800? Almost 800. That's crazy. Let's see if I can get a little bit of the front view. All right, crash bars off. <laughs> I already know people will be like, you are such an idiot. <laughs> All right, that's off. So hopefully now the bumper can fit. If I get hit from the front, this is this is all finished. <laughs> Done. Yeah. yeah. All right, so now we're gonna try to fit this baby on. This thing gonna be sitting way lower, man. Shoot. Oh, damn. Yeah, I'm definitely not getting up my girlfriend's driveway. Definitely not. I was also telling you to get with like a front splitter, so it's something like this, yeah, and it sticks out. So if you know you're gonna hit something, right, you feel it make a noise before you actually hit something. 
So when you put the bumper on, it's gonna mark where to drill the hole, right? Yep. That's smart. It's a waste of toothpaste, but it's smart. <laughs> Look at how we had to prop up the hood, bro. <laughs> had to use a crutch. All right, so we got it all marked up. I don't know if y'all can see that. But right there. So first we're gonna be drilling the, this one right here. I, I just touched the toothpaste. So we're gonna be drilling these right here, and then we're gonna get to these right there. There. All right, so me being the smart person that I am, I left the bolts at home to for the bumpers. So right now we're just gonna be zip tying them so it could stay. And then, yeah, I gotta maybe tomorrow when I go to work or this afternoon, cause I gotta work at three. So I'm just gonna put the bolts on. Here's the view. Looking pretty nice so far, pretty nice. Yeah. The Luckily ones I don't are run into. aggressive. <laughs> looking nice imagine when the side skirts get on there bro you guys probably haven't seen my face in like a while so far this is going so good I mean so far so good that didn't even make sense I can't even talk right bro the heck I said so far it's going so good <laughs> everything is going exactly as planned and it's looking exactly the way that I wanted it to so that's good all right something's wrong we can't see the pull this thing off now let me not take freaking credit i'm not doing shit oh. yeah it's going through right there it's yeah. a nut right in through here it's a fucking nut okay here we go one is done All right, so we got the rear bumper off. Um, now we're just fitting the aftermarket bumper. And we're running with some issues. We're running into some issues with the, what, with the screw? It's not fitting. Yeah, it's too thick. Almost had it. Almost. Almost had it, Bobby. Almost had it. All right, now this part, I had to actually go home because I was having problems with my dog because he was staying at my girlfriend's house for the weekend. And he was just being loud and the and the neighbors didn't like it and it was just horrible. So I had to leave and go pick him up. And you know, Nick lives 40, I think like 35 minutes away. So I couldn't go back that day. Plus I had the dog with me and it's like, yeah, so I had to leave early. So that's why it took us two weeks. So now, the part that you're about to see now is two weeks later when I finally got back to his house. And this is when we finished installing the body kits. All right, y'all, so today is exactly two weeks later, man. As you guys know by yesterday's video, well, my last video, um, depending on when you guys watch it, I got the rear bumper put on already. Now what I'm doing is, what he's doing. Nah, I don't be doing shit. What he's doing is he's putting on the front bumper right now. We're just finishing up, it's freaking raining. I got the non-waterproof camera outside while it's raining. You sure you don't want to wait until the Wayne? Wayne. <laughs> Just stay be doing that shit in the freaking videos, right? You sure you don't want to wait until the rain is over? Uh, actually, I just pulled out some stuff. I actually would have made it up if I started now. Where is it, Joe? Because the duck defenders, there's always two things right here. So, so now what exactly is being done right here? Uh, there's a screw that I have to take out in order for me to put the new bump on. This man is relentless. Alright, now I say you gotta come in. All I gotta do is mark this hole and I'm gonna last back. Should we close the hood? Oh shit. Yeah. He doesn't even realize it was written by They don't want you to put a front bumper on. There's these two screws that you gotta put here. Same thing on the other side, obviously. And then there's gonna be two that are gonna be put right here for the fender. And then same thing on the other side. And then after we get those on, then we should be straight. Okay. Uh, 
penny to touch. All right, so the front bumper is on and all secure. This thing is looking so sexy. Look at it, man. It's like a totally different car. This thing is nice. Low as hell, but it's nice. Now it's just time for the side skirts, and then we should be we should be straight. We should be straight. Look at it, man. Easy. Easy. Oh, no. Look. Hold on. We gotta, we gotta lift it up. All right, go. Go. Yeah, easy. It's off. It's our struggles. Struggle begins. Part one. All right, so now what we're doing is we're going to Advance Auto to grab some zip ties for the side skirts. So like 700 scrapes later, we finally made this auto zone. Alive. Alive. <laughs> <laughs> Sponsored by me. <laughs> now it's time for the side skirts and then we should be done. All right, right now it's getting real dark. And we're just test fitting the side skirts, so we should be done soon. But so far, it's coming out pretty nice. I actually thought you were taller in person. Oh no, nah, I'm only I'm only five five eleven. Oh shit, I went pretty deep. <laughs> Nigga went through there and everything. So. All right, y'all. So this right here is the finished product. Check this out, man. Yo, I really like the way this turned out. You guys should tell me what you guys think. Leave a comment down below saying what you guys think about the body kit, because I think it came out amazing. I love it. Little walk around. Y'all see that? Look at how low it is. Look at that, man. Look at that. I think it came out really good. And despite how low it is, it doesn't scrape at all. Like I don't scrape anywhere. The only time that I might scrape is if I'm, you know, going up some kind of driveway that's like, you know, a little steep. But you know, that's about it. The one driveway that I haven't tested yet is my girlfriend's driveway and I don't plan on testing it out. <laughs> because that could be the end of my bumper, so I'm not even gonna try it. I think this looks amazing, man. I'm really happy with how it turned out. One more thing, do you guys think I should keep the Lexus grill or should I go with the JDM Alteza grill? Let me know what you guys think because everybody's telling me to keep the Lexus grill, so. I kinda wanted the Alteza grill, but I mean, I do like how this looks though. All right, so I wanna give a big thanks to Nick and Steven for helping me out. My bad, Steve, I keep on calling you Steven, man. <laughs> His name is Steve, not Steven, all right? <laughs> I would have never got this on there. I mean, I would have probably got it on there, but I wouldn't have got it to fit the way that it did. I'm gonna put their links for their Instagram in the description so you guys can check them out. Make sure you follow them, show them some love. And yeah, man, that's it. I love how this turned out. So what's coming after this? I need an exhaust, I need wheels, and of course I need paint. Um, I think I'm gonna get a lot of other stuff done first before I get the paint done because you know you want everything to fit especially when it comes to exhaust you don't want the exhaust you know rubbing against the rear bumper and then um, when it comes to wheels I want to get the right fitment but the fenders need to be pulled and rolled and all that stuff I would want that to be done first before I paint the car so I think I'm gonna do a lot of the other stuff before the car gets painted so the car might not get painted for you know Maybe another month. <laughs> I don't know. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, please sub to the channel. I'll really appreciate it. And yeah, man, that's it for the video. Thanks for watching. I'm out. Take a breath and breathe.